One of my favorite things about MATLAB is how well it integrates with Excel. Here I have a massive Excel file that I found online of a bunch of satellites that have been launched into space. If we look at this Excel file, I have a total of 2,667 rows of data. That's a lot of data to look through and to handle. I would not want to go through that as an a person just looking through this, trying to decipher information. So MATLAB is extremely helpful to help me go through all of this data and figure out what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and shift over to MATLAB and then we can talk through some different string functions that can help me look at this different Excel file data. Looking at the Excel file, one of the things that interests me is I'm wondering which countries own these different satellites. And I'm just curious, what's the list of countries that own one of these satellites and how many do they own? So let's go ahead and figure out how we can figure that out from the database. So here in MATLAB, I've already written the code to read and import in the Excel file that I was just showing. I've also written a line of code to slice out the titles from the Excel file, so I have that as a separate data point as well. If you want more details on how to work with an Excel file, importing it in or slicing data out, check out one of my other videos about importing Excel files or manipulating data. So I know the owner of the satellites is in the third column, so the first thing I want to do is slice out that whole third column you'll see I have that third column stored in owner satellite. So there's a list of a bunch of different countries. So one cool function that I really like in MATLAB is the unique function. So using the unique function, I can see what are my different strings that are showing up in that column. So based on the unique function, I have a list of 103 different countries. So all of the satellites in the full list belong to 103 different countries. If we go back to the string compare function that I previously talked about in another video, we can go through and figure out how many satellites each of these countries own in this entire list. So I'm gonna create a for loop, that way I can go through each of the list of unique country names, and then I'm gonna use string compare to compare to the entire data set for every one of those country names to see how many times that occurs in the whole data set. So remember, string compare will give me a logical array, true or false. So for the summation of however many trues there are, that's how many satellites are that belong to that country. So here's an example of augmenting. So I'm augmenting two lists together. Now there's gonna be a problem here because countries list is a cell array and test is just a list of numbers. So it's a matrix, an array. And those two are not compatible data types. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it and show that error. So it doesn't like that I'm trying to do that. Um, there are a bunch of other functions for converting data. This isn't relevant to strings necessarily, but it is a function that's super helpful if you're working with strings and a cell array. So I can num to cell these. So I can take each number and put it in its own cell. And that way this list is going to be a cell array. So now I have a list of countries and how many satellites each of those countries own, and I have it all into one nice data set. I could put this in a clean table if I wanted to using fprintf or something else, but right now I'll just stop there and I have this portion that I like. So now if I'm curious about one of these countries, I can just go down and say, okay, for instance, Mexico owns four from this list or United States owns 1,308. But you'll notice I also have a lot on the list where USA has partial ownership with another country. And so there's a few that are within that as well. So maybe I wanna add these to the list of the countries as halves, or maybe I just wanna put these in a whole different category. So I could just look for these slashes in a whole other way with a different string function. 